All right, 11.3 geometric sequences in series. Let's take a look at some examples here. For these, um, identify whether it's arithmetic or geometric. And the point by this, and the main reason why we do this is you have to use a different formula for each one. So the point is, I always start by trying to prove it's geometric. To prove it's geometric, you need to divide them. 1 divided by 1 is 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the point is, these, to be geometric, when you divide them, they all have to be the same. And it's not. So it's not geometric. OK, moving on. We know it's not geometric. Um, this goes up by nothing. Then it goes up by 1. Then it goes up by 4. It's not going up by the same amount. So it's not arithmetic, meaning there's only one item it can be. And the first one is neither. Um, we can try again to divide them, uh, but what we can do is 4 over 1 is 4. 9 divided by 4 is not 4, so instantly I know it's not geometric. So I know this one down here is not geometric. This goes up by 3, it goes up by 5, it goes up by 7, it goes up by 9. It's not going up by the same every time, so it's not arithmetic. Meaning that one is neither. <laughs> okay, so they're both neither. So find the formula for the geometric sequence. Well, here's the formula for a geometric sequence. Um, a sub 1, r to the n minus 1, where r is the ratio of the terms, and this is still the first term. So the ratio. The ratio is dividing each of these. I get negative 4. Dividing each of these, I get negative 4. So it's turning out that the ratio is negative 4. So according to my formula, I plug a 2 in for a sub 1. r is negative 4 because that's the ratio to the n minus 1. And there's my formula already done. OK, taking a look at this. I divide these 75 over 125, 45 divided by 75, 27 divided by 45. OK, so taking a look to see what we get here. And is it the same? Well, 75 divided by 125 gives you 3 fifths. 45 divided by 75 gives you 3 fifths. And so does 27 divided by 45. So the point is, I get 3 fifths for every single one, so it is geometric. So according to our formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 r to the n minus 1. Well, the first term is 125. I know that r is 3 fifths to the n minus 1. So there is the formula for the geometric one. All right, 1 divided by negative 1 third, um, negative 3 divided by 1, and 9 divided by negative 3. Guess what? They all are negative 3, which means that's what r is. So I now know that r is negative 3. So according to the formula, it equals sub 1 r to the n minus 1. The first term is negative 1 third. It's the first term. r is negative 3 to the n minus 1. So there's that one. This is just them telling you what the items are, right? They're saying what the first term is. They're saying what r is. So I just plug it in. 4, negative 1 over 2, n minus 1. Look at that. Done already. Uh, taking a look at this next one. Just need to know the formula. a to the 1, r to the n minus 1. That's 5. That's negative 1 over 2 to the n minus 1. There's the formula again. Done already. Um, the only thing to keep in mind um, is this. Um, this is actually a very key thing. This, for some reason, people have a hard time with this. Okay. You do not, this is a no-no, you do not multiply those together. Ever. Okay? That's, that's wrong. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's wrong. Here's another one where I see people doing this a lot. Okay? They'll say, oh, this is 20 to the n minus 1. No, it's not. No, 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 no. No. Don't do that. Do not take those two items and plug them together. I don't know why 
you guys think that that's what you need to do. I don't know why, but that is not what you're supposed to do, so do not do that. Right? But other than that, if you have any other questions or concerns, please let me know.